just jumping in on a 1510. Going for a fianchetto, so it looks like we're going to be blocking off this area with the pawn. Try and blunt the diagonal. Let's get the knight out whilst they're thinking of the fianchetto. Obviously, this is coming to attack. It's not doing that. Okay, so it gives us a moment to see if we can bait a few pawns down, whichever side going to be and they've gone for it so we're going to just blunt the diagonal for this bishop take away the power take away the sting unless he's thinking of trying to open up the space around here let's go for a little tack here so we're just going to simply take i don't think he'll take with the king pawn i think he'll take with this pawn so we'll just put a check on the king but we'll hang fire oh taking with the king pawn surprised at that just going to put a check on the king I think the knight wants to develop now. It's going for the exchange. I don't have a problem with that at all in the slightest. Let's just bring the bishop back a little bit. Castle, castle. Looking to double the pawns up in front of our king. There's nothing behind this um, knight at the moment, so we could reverse and attack. It does leave a single pawn in the centre here. A little bit isolated. Maybe this pawn can protect going up. Mm. Could bring the knight here, but it's going to get easily get challenged. It's coming back again, so it's going to get taken anyway. Could always just bring the bishop back, which is probably what I'm going to do anyway. Let's just bring the bishop back, keep it simple, it's nice and tidy. So I'll be trying to champion somehow, you know, the destruction of these bishop, these pawns here, because he's wanting to get the strength here. But he's gone castled, so we'll castle as well. King safety. Rook's going to be attacking the bishop. Let's just bring our rook through, just supporting the bishop for now. Look to swing the bishop here, give the king some company if we can. And then bring the knight out. Yep, so it's jumping down, looking to put pressure here at the knight. Maybe I don't think so. Okay, let's just bring the bishop here, like we said, give the king some company, it's also targeting the knight. Does capture. Now the issue we have is, we're going to have to take with the pawn, because our rook is not defended at the moment. And his rook would be able to take if we took with the bishop. The knight's come down, it's attacking the pawn which he's got a defence on it. We could take his knight off the board, give them something to think about. So that's where bishop, realistically our good bishop is the white bishop. So we could just take his knight off the board. So a bad bishop for a good knight. Although it is fairly good because... Um, because it does have some open space to play with. So we could attack the knight, he just goes back again, or we just develop the bear knight out so that at least our rooks are linked up. I'm still wanting to just take this knight off the board. Mm -hmm. Let's just develop, because he's think he's being good, because he's, he was going to be taking the pawn. If we left the knight there, we're back in that same situation again. 
So if we took, then his rook would be able to take our rook. Seems to be working out okay. They've got a single focus, which I'm hoping they've wasted a lot of energy on and not really developing the pieces together. And that's allowed us to get our pieces out a little bit into the game. So we've moved the knight. So we could look to attack the knight, but I'm not really interested in that. I have seen this type of maneuver maybe coming here or coming here just to unsettle them, attacking these pawns. I think I'm going to go that route and see what happens. It's probably just going to drop this pawn so the knight can't go here or there. It's nice that the bishop's got this area because if we did go here and they forgot themselves and they brought a rook to protect the pawn. So if they did push the pawn then we'd be able to take this pawn here. Pretty simple stuff but sometimes it does work. So is he going to look to challenge this bishop to get it out of the way? Do we sit it just here to be a bit annoying? The knight's moved out of there saying, well, I don't want this pawn anymore, but I might come here, but no, the pawn's going to take. Where does he think he's going with this knight? I'm going to continue with this manoeuvre. Hopefully they forget themselves and bring the rook here. With the stealth bishop. can easily get the pawn back so they may allow us to take here and then the rook comes and attacks because he's getting this pawn might win a tempo by being able to bring the knight here if it is this rook that's left there so he'd have to move the rook and then we can move the pawn it looks like he's seen what we planned actually because he's moved his rook out of the way of any potential downward action Sorry, downward action to attack it. Although this knight is protecting. Is he looking to double up? He's going for a nice... Oh, yeah, he's going for a nice cheap doubling. Yeah. Okay, so we could take the pawn. Then he goes for his double. And our king's not close enough to help protect. Let's see how this will play. We take, he goes there, then we jump here, then his knight goes there, then we take, then he takes, we take, yeah, so that's not going to work out. It does look nice, but knight takes, rook goes here. So that part we're clear on. King moves the cross to help protect. The rook does take, rook can take, supporting. Or, he changes his mind. Although I think he will go with that, we move the king, then he'll probably move back to attack the knight. And attack this pawn, so he gets the pawn anyway, because if we moved to here, and his rook is there, we're not attacking his rook anymore. We're attacking his knight. So his knight would take. And then the bishop would take. It's on his rook. So he has something to think about. Although, hold on. If his rook is there, we'll be able to take, wouldn't we? Oh, I'm going to go for it anyway. Something's telling me we might be okay. Don't want to do too much calculation. That was going too far. Okay, so they have gone for that. So moving the king, like we said, to help support. So then we said they're probably going to go back and attack the knight. And this is where, if we went here, then the knight takes. Then the bishop is going to be on the rook and the rook. Oh, they're not doing any of that. 
So he's looking to take this pawn. Take, but then if the rook takes, the rook takes, it's still even Stevens. So we might pressure him into making that decision. If we bring the knight here and attack his rook, he's attacking a higher piece. Does he still continue with this? We've got two pieces defending. Or has this knight got some magical thing that I have not spotted? So no, we don't calculate everything. Of course we can. So the rook goes back to safety, attacking the pawn, I suppose. So there's not much meat there really. So he goes attacking. Bishop does have this diagonal attacking here. So if we went and attacked his um, rook, his knight probably will take all the pawn takes, and then we can take his rook. That looked like a different, a better exchange. So I'm going to attack his rook. Knight takes or pawn takes. Got the X-ray through to the rook. He might not entertain any of that, in which if he doesn't, we can take the rook for free with a check on his king. And then we're attacking this pawn as well. Oh, that's a horse of a different colour. Well, we're still attacking a rook and a rook. I think what he's going for is the exchange because if we take then his rook takes excuse me then our rook takes and then his rook escapes by taking the pawn down here hmm so if I just take his rook first yeah okay so I feel a little bit happier with that so that's taken Knight's still there, so now we can attack his rook. His rook moves, and then we can take his knight off the board. And it's on my knight as well, so I think I want to be taking with a check on his king. I'm still losing this bishop, because his knight's on there. But I suppose I can bring this knight here, attacking and defending the bishop. So we're kind of up the exchange. Oh, he's not done that. So we could just move the bishop out of the way or just take the pawn. I'm going to take the pawn because it's gathering material. He might look to escape his knight out. Yeah, look, he's panicking. Right, so I don't know where the knight's going though. It's getting captured either way, isn't it? Let's just attack so all the squares that it wants to go to. It's getting captured. So it's a bit of a trapped knight. So this seems to have worked out quite nicely for us, positionally. Okay, so the captured bishop's going to take, obviously, well, we'll see, let's just grab. I don't think the bishop will take, but if the knight takes, then obviously nothing's protecting here, so the bishop will take, and it's also on this pawn as well. Small potatoes, but it's things to be aware of. So we're up a bit of material actually. Oh, and they've resigned.